Hey guys, Aaron from the Bulba here, back with another episode of The Writer's Block, which is a show where I just talk about any topic that kind of interests me or just is something I want to talk about in the space of art, whether that's physical artwork like painting, music, film, TV, games, whatever I really want to talk about, right? <clears throat> and today, something I really wanted to touch on is something that happened lately on social media regarding... Um, Probably, if probably actually the biggest artist in the world right now, which is Taylor Swift. It's somebody that is constantly talked about all over media for a variety of reasons. A lot of people who support her, a lot of people who have a distaste or a dislike for her for whatever reason that they feel like trying to justify their dislike. Um, and recently, what happened was there was a bunch of like AI deep fake. Uh, pornographic photos um doctored that placed taylor swift in a dehumanizing um disgusting and just just awful situations um and just yeah it was just disrespectful and it's recently become a large topic of conversation because a lot of people are using this moment you know, because Taylor Swift is somebody with a lot of fans and a lot of social and political power because of it to push anti AI legislative. Um, and ultimately, that's a really good thing, right? And there's a lot of people that are mad at this push on multiple different sides for different reasons. I thought I'd cover those right now just to explain them and explain why there is no real reason you should be against this in a lot of ways. So, the first of which is people that, um, are huge supporters of other social issues. Whether I've seen, um, especially from people that are pro-Palestine, um, I've even seen from people that are um, like pro-choice and fighting for abortion rights. They're saying, "Man, I wish people would stop caring so much about this issue being a AI and related to Taylor Swift, and would care a lot more about this specific issue that I fight for and I highlight, whether that's." pro-Palestine, pro-choice, whatever the case may be. I've seen it mostly from pro-Palestine people, so that's what I'm going to kind of reference during this conversation. Um, and what I want to say there is, of, of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to say it out right now that I'm also pro-Palestine. Like, you know, don't get it twisted. But at the same time, it's impossible to ignore how important the issue of AI deepfakes is and has become and how much of like uh this is like a great opportunity uh as much as it's horrible to to see it like that in the sense that oh somebody going after taylor swift like this big celebrity is like an opportunity it really is um very rarely do you have such a large group of people <laughs> which are taylor swift fans um with so much social and political power all kind of uniting under one social cause and it's gotten to the point now where like the white house has made a statement on it and the government is going to actually look into doing something in the legislative process because of taylor swift and her fans and that is absolutely amazing yes i agree that i wish that this type of of energy and effort went into more social problems i do wish that that would be absolutely amazing however we should not look at that and you know start to look at what's happening negatively because it's not negative this is a great thing and there needs to be some form of regulation around ai and punishment for doing this to anybody anybody taylor swift is just the biggest name it happened to but there's been multiple reports of people having to deal with deep fakes and ones that aren't even celebrities including minors which is just absolutely ridiculous and should come with a massive punishment for doing that like that's it's disgusting and it's wrong um and a lot of times i've seen people be like i wonder why this is happening right because realistically there's i mean th probably millions if we're going to be honest of hours of free consensual pornographic materials that can be found right this this is not happening these deep fakes are not happening because people want pornography this is just not the case it's just not the case it's so much easier there's so many other ways to get that for free i think there's a larger social 
kind of uh, cause for these deep fakes, which is that I'm assuming that it's men want to humiliate women. They see a woman like Taylor Swift, who is incredibly successful by herself, an incredibly powerful and socially dominant woman. She is incredibly wealthy. She is incredibly independent, has a lot of success, a lot of fans, and is, by all accounts, a very grounded person. Um, and all of this is from her own doing. You, she can't. Nobody can sit there and give somebody else the credit for Taylor Swift's success. It is all her. She did it all herself by being one of the best songwriters of all time. I'm not going to sit here and act like I am the biggest Taylor Swift fan. Like I'm not going to sit here and act like I stream Taylor Swift's music constantly. But as a creative, as somebody who enjoys the creative process and enjoys art, it's impossible for me to ignore the quality that comes out of the Taylor Swift discography for years now, right? And that's all onto her and her hard work and her effort, right? And I feel like a lot of times when men see a powerful woman like that, it really rubs them the wrong way. They see that and instead of just being like, good for them, for for working hard, doing their thing, and being successful, they're, they're not able to do that. Instead, they have to try to find a way to dehumanize and just like bring that successful woman down a peg right because they're just not able to see that success and just be happy for somebody else they have to bring this powerful woman down a peg and how do they do that by basically placing her into humiliating positions fake humiliating positions and it's really sad it's really sad that um that that male insecurity uh goes that far like, um, because a secure person doesn't do that. A secure person doesn't see the success of another person and get angry or upset. Um, at, at worst, they're just, it, it, they're unbothered by it. They just see success somebody else and they just go, oh, good, you know, yeah, good for them. And at best, it's, it's an inspiring thing to see somebody else, a fellow creative, have that level of success. It's inspiring. You go, man, I want to go and make my own stuff and do my own stuff so I can get to that level of success. That's how a normal person should react, either positively or with no emotion. And look, even if for whatever reason, you don't really love Taylor Swift, right? You know, there's there's plenty of reasons that people don't like celebrities or people, whatever, right? I'm not going to get into it. If you don't like Taylor Swift, you don't like Taylor Swift. I'm not saying you have to. But at the same time, you should be able to recognize what's happening and go, that's fucked up. That's wrong. Even if you don't like Taylor Swift, that's wrong. And just a side note, just because I'm, I'm already going off about Taylor Swift, might as well just fully, fully um, check all the boxes here. If you're an NFL fan that's pissed off about Taylor Swift's now involvement in your football league, shut the fuck up, bro. Who cares? People are like, they should show Taylor Swift blessed. They really don't show her that much. Right, they really don't show her that much. I watched the Bills Chiefs game the other weekend. I watched it. I watched it, and they really didn't show Taylor Swift that many times. Maybe like a minute or two. The entire broadcast, the entire hour plus broadcast of this game, Taylor Swift was maybe showed for a minute. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. The commercials are longer than that. Like, come on, who really cares? Who really cares? I mean, whenever Detroit um, played whatever team they played and they showed Eminem a bunch of times, I ain't heard shit. I ain't heard nothing. I ain't heard no complaints from nobody about it. But as soon as it's a woman, a successful, powerful woman at that, now it's a problem. Now it's a problem. You just you just can't deal with it, right? I just don't get it. Um, and it's not like... Whenever the camera does pan over to Taylor Swift, she's like showing off for the camera, doing anything like that. She's literally just cheering on the Chiefs. Like, come on, come on, guys. Like, it, it it's so crazy how some like men's insecurity and just borderline like hatred of women just causes them to act so irrationally. I just don't 
get it. Even if you don't care at all about Taylor Swift, you legitimately don't care. You're not ever going to listen to music, never going to do that. It's it's like a minute on your broadcast. Who cares? Oh, like it's not like when a play is going on, they're pulling away from the play to show you Taylor Swift. Like no, you can still watch the football, and when they're like in the huddle or they have a timeout or it's in between plays when nothing is going on and you don't care because nothing is happening, that's when they show Taylor Swift. Just go on your phone, bro. Look away. To talk to a real woman. Go outside while that happens. Drink some water. Brush your teeth. I don't know. Do something productive if you don't really want to see Taylor Swift. It's just ridiculous. It's really just ridiculous. And again, I think it all really just boils down to insecure masculine egos in people are just insecure in their masculinity and somebody who's truly secure in their masculinity doesn't care doesn't care and is supportive of women because honestly if we really want to get down to what masculinity like has been culturally for however amount of time or whatever else it's a, a protector right that's what men originally were that's why men were soldiers or whatever else they were supposed to be protectors and if you're such an alpha man, why are you attacking women instead of protecting them, right? If you if we really want to get into what masculinity should be, which there's not really a reason to, masculinity and femininity are useless terms, uh, and they don't really mean anything, do whatever you want. But if we really need to establish masculinity and femininity as, as, as cultural phenomena, if you will, people who are masculine or engage in masculine behaviors should support women all the time because that's what you culturally that's what you're supposed to do right in the same way that women are supposed to support men men are supposed to support women and i see way too many men uh, getting mad that the first part's not happening meaning women aren't supporting men but then turn around at the same time don't support women back how can you expect support when you don't give support it's a whole bunch of hypocrisy and I'm just done with it. That's my little piece on this whole Taylor Swift nonsense. I really hope that sometime we could, she could just be left alone to like live her life. <laughs> and having just these weirdos online stop butting in and being weird and screwing stuff up for her. Because I'm sure she just wants to live her life. She's, she's, she's a normal woman. A normal woman that makes really good music. But still just a normal woman that's trying to do normal woman stuff. And... You know, a lot of us normal people who aren't mega famous celebrities, I think we take for granted how hard sometimes being that publicly in the spotlight is because when people see somebody that's popular, you know, number one artist in the world right now, they just have to hate, especially when it's a woman. That's it. That's all for me. It's the end of this ball, this ball pit video, end of this Rare's Block episode. Check out more if you want. If you don't, I don't care. Go do something else with your life. Have a great time. Be safe. Be well. Be happy. Uh, love you all.